Are women evil? Do they even have any control of their own emotions? I asked myself, why is it they're so unhappy? It's simple, men. They're unhappy because you didn't do what they wanted you to do, and they can't help it. They can't fight it. They seethe with rage, with anger, because you failed to do what they wanted you to do. Society will tell you you should have done it. You were supposed to do it. You were supposed to be her little boy. But were you? This makes them seethe with rage. Now if the shoe were on the other foot, we would be considered bad guys. How dare you require anything of this woman who would destroy her own children, sons and daughters alike. And she will burn down everyone in her life with her rage. And any man who attempts to judge them or hold them to some level of standard will be ostracized. And she will be the victim. If you go along with her game of love, your job will be to entertain her, to please her. And if you fail, then you will see the entitlement of the monster that you've created. She won't be able to think of anything else. Only her rage. Only her anger. Because she didn't get her way. She will fixate on this. She will blame you. The man. The sad truth of the matter is, this is a retaliation tactic of a parasite. When the tick buries its head into its prey, so that it doesn't get removed, this is why she is angry. She will rarely turn to the light. Typically, they will turn to the darkness, the dark, the victim status. This will get them more attention. This will get them more of what they crave, but it will not get them a man. Here we can see Ukrainian politicians clearly showing their sadness for the dead men of their country wearing blood red leather. We see this as symbolic. They don't actually have love or feelings for anyone other than themselves. Their anger is all you need to know about this. They can't believe that you didn't do what they wanted. You failed to live up to their expectations of who you should be, according to them. But you're just another selfish man, aren't you? Out there living for yourself, not being used by a woman, not allowing her devilish ways to persuade you. What do you think you are? How dare you fight back against the women? The society that allows the women to use you as a man. Why would you go MGTOW? Why would you go monk mode? When you could be a good little boy and do what the women tell you. Them and their friends. Everything about them has been designed to be a perfect trap, a perfect predator. 
How better for a predator to feed than to attract its prey sexually? I mean, so many other predators allure things with colorful patterns, aberrant movements. But this predator, well, all they need is for you to do what you naturally do. And they can own you. What if I told you there is another way? Without feeding into women's need for you, without feeding your desires carnally, but finding a way as a man to escape the rat race that has been designed by society at large, women and their cronies, to control you. Yes, my brothers, there is another way. I know when you met her, she was perfect, right? She was everything that you wanted her to be, everything that you thought a woman should be, everything that society has told you to look for in a woman. But has society ever lied to you, misled you, perhaps through sleight of hand? Perhaps they used your own innate sexuality against you until her sexuality and looks faded and you were left with this. Every man's nightmare. They change into something else, something that requires you keeping them entertained. And if you fail this test, if you should dare to ask what she will do for you, or expect anything of her, you will let her down even further. You will be shamed for not being her obedient slave. Does that sound like a good life, Ben? Slave. When you are responsible for work, hard work, or a workload, you can come through on that but you can never come through on someone else's happiness, someone else's willingness to be pleasant or pleased without needing more, without calling you out on your behavior for not meeting her demands. Most men never realize they're under this spell. Most men never realize they're only trying to please a woman a different woman. She's not like the others. She's gonna be good to me. She'll never be unhappy with me. Right? Because she loves you. Because she cares. Because she's the princess, right? Or is she some sort of witch? Casting her spell over mankind in general. Using her sexuality against you against mankind for her own devilish needs. And what would be the benefit of that? Other than blatant self-gratification over and over into infinity. Until they grow old. Until they can no longer be quenched sexually. Because the acts have become so devious that this once beautiful, innocent, sweet predator that thought so highly of you now hates you because you fail to please her you fail to entertain her you bore her and she will let her dissatisfaction be known if you were to do that everyone would think you were awful but she will let her unhappiness be known to everyone she's ever known. She will scream it from the rooftops until everyone knows you failed. Until she has sucked every bit of life out of your body. And she will be seen as the victim. She will be seen as the innocent angel. Not a devil. Not up to anything abnormal. Just a sweet, innocent girl. No tricks, no witchcraft, no mischievous behavior. She's just a simple woman, just an innocent girl. 
and you failed to do what she wanted you to do. That's why she hates you. So he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem We could change the world, change times, rearrange them Staying on pace, running the race Life is a chase, I don't want a place I want to be first, work till it hurts Dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse oh. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far It's, it's like, like you lived a few lifetimes Take off, so I'm a break off from the weak minds They can stay soft, you can change